Soccer Universe and to another jersey from my collection, another African jersey as the background gives it away. Yes, for the rest of the week until the tournament ends. I want to release largely African videos, so there you go. And it is the only two uh, African jerseys in my collection that I have not shown yet out of a total of 15, as far as I know. And we're talking, of course, about Mali. I have the away jersey, which was my favorite jersey in 2019. In 2017, though, that spectacular design was already hinted at with the corresponding home jersey, which I got recently from Classic Football Shirts. They had them on sale. And I said, yeah, I want to have a yellow Mali shirt as well. Because I know for this one, I was so going back and forth. I mean, I knew that the white one looks better, but the yellow is the home jersey. And there's something nice about it. I just didn't like that for that one. The yellow here was kind of a white and it didn't look right. Similar to what they did here, but it still looks a whole lot better in this case. So I would say if, if you, before we go into the details of this shirt, if you ask me, 2019 AFCON, this is the better design for the away uh, or the design is best is better if it's on white however on the yellow i like the 2017 uh better um but that's my opinion again it's by airness a company from mali and um let's get the obvious out of the way if you google this uh jersey you 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 will see that the match jerseys actually had a different color uh, they had a flag color that was kind of broken up with yellow here, which admittedly looks nicer uh, than this particular jersey does. However, I do not mind the red color here. Um, and I think if you get the white away jersey, you have green uh, uh, green color, which I find uh, kind of interesting. However, I gotta say, while the eagle is not as large as here, and you see there's a clear size difference, what I do like here is that we have the full eagle uh, wings here so it's not kind of the stylized wings with full eagle wings making up the flag of mali in a way that is then a little bit hinted so with the we don't get the green because this is kind of the uh, upper wings then we have yes it is whitish but it should be a yellow and then we have the red below which actually on the wings looks really really nice uh this pattern i gotta say and then on the sleeves uh it is repeated we have one bar for just green then two in white and then three in red which i find a very interesting pattern uh thanks to the eagle a little bit smaller it actually leaves a little bit more space for the number but again um my biggest gripe here is you could not get the number really in and the number is would still be like the front line will still be sitting kind of low so maybe moving the pattern up could uh, do a little bit of uh, you know uh, design wise could look a little bit better but I gotta say this was the first jersey African African jersey where I thought yeah this is taking it to the next level because I really like that in previous tournaments uh, Mali started incorporating the flag as a band across the chest Pulling that eagle up front is just takes it to the next level. And I think it's a super spectacular uh, and super nice design. And also the way that the eagle is kind of landing on you with the, um, uh, not fangs, uh, coming at you, the fangs, or, uh, the talons coming right at you uh, is really nice. And then this is mirrored on the sleeves. I also um, think it's quite, quite nice. I also like how uh, it's a little bit bro broken up here. I do wish... But you know the shirt ends here maybe there was not really a space to add uh to add in a little bit green maybe that was the one thing but i uh, it really looks spectacular there's also the malian flag uh on the inside of the collar and then uh one overlook detail i mean the airness logo is already pretty cool with the black panther but the crest of mali i think is rather well yes there is um a 70s 1970 soccer ball in there which is always some something i don't like but the crest of mali is golden and it makes so much sense that this is uh yellow um do yourself a favor and look at mansa musa on, on Wiki, Wiki, wikipedia he was the richest man in the entire world and he was kind of the ruler or the Mansa of the kingdom of Mali after which Mali takes its name and Mali was super rich in gold so having a golden crest makes a whole lot of sense uh, absolutely love uh, that crescent also the detail with a little bit 
swirls in there and straight lines. It's very nice. And of course, you have the eagle as well. The back, plain. Now, the one thing I also have to say, if you were to get one of these shirts, um, it's not that a super tight fitting, but uh, consider gag going a size larger, especially than 2019 ones. I have to say this fits more like an L. This one is a teeny bit looser, but I also would say it's right between L and XL. It's a beautiful shirt. I absolutely love it. And you know, it gives a little bit more color splash on the background there. So I have actually been using this more now during the AFCON than I have used the, uh, this one. I freely admit, I like the pattern on white better. However, I think um, doing it like this, the yellow gives a certain strong color that I also like. And now they're having green home jerseys and you saw it in my jersey review. I'm not the biggest fan of these. So yeah, how did they do with this jersey? Well, at the AFCON they didn't do much. They had a pretty tough group with Egypt and Ghana where they only made two points. Getting a point against uh, eventual finalist Egypt in a tournament that was played in Gabon. Yes, this was the time when the AFCON couldn't get out of Equatorial Guinea and, Ga and, and Gabon. I think there were uh, almost three consecutive tournaments with all the South African tournament in 2013 thrown in between. In any case, I would like you to tell me how you like this jersey. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!